I went ahead and stopped by a Home Depot on my way home and I picked up some aluminum. I hated to do it. I, I know there's cheaper ways and I want this to be a budget bill, but I also need to get videos out in a timely manner. So if I jack around waiting to get some kind of scrap aluminum, like a ladder, like I would mention before, you know, I might not get this video out this week. So what we're going to do is use angle. Like I said, you can always use something else. Uh, first off, I need to cut uh, the front and the back, just some angle. I got, what did I get? I got one by one eighth inch angle. We'll put one across the front seat and one across the middle seat. Really from there, I can go ahead and cut my piece of aluminum. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be two pieces. I need to try to figure out how wide a trolling motor is before I do that though. So uh, this might, I might run into a snag today. I might not be able to get too far. I know I can do a little bit of bracing. Like I said, I, I don't want to mess up and not have enough room, which I can always give it more room than I actually need for the trolling motor. That's just gonna rob me from storage room. So I don't know, we'll we'll fly to see the pants here and, and see how far we can get. And uh, hopefully it'll work out. All right, so let's uh, get to work. All right, so I got my piece cut for this back seat. I put some little angles on each side so it'll fit the boat. And we don't want to put it all the way flush with the top of the seat because the lid will be, it'll give it a lip and we want it to be flush. So I got this scrap piece of sign and I'm gonna use it like as a gauge to mark where it needs to be and then drill it out and rivet it in. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so went ahead and went ahead and put my two hinges on. And I just did four rivets in them, and I actually did three sixteenths rivets just to make it a little bit more stout because this is going to be a spot where you're going to be standing. And what I plan on doing, which I might end up, heck, I don't know what I'm going to do to be honest with you. Where's my? I want to put this down a little bit lower and rivet it in to this hinge like i said this was my piece earlier i cut it in two pieces and this piece is going to go flush right here so this is two foot so i'm thinking whatever this i'm not even sure how wide this is all right so this is a little over a foot long I know a trolling motor isn't that wide, so I think it's safe for us to go ahead and secure this one in with just rivets, and then maybe go ahead and do this next piece below these hinges, try to figure out where exactly where it needs to go. All right, this is what I ended up with. I actually messed up. I put that one piece on here like that and I had it riveted in, but then I got to thinking, how am I gonna attach this top piece, my hatch cover or whatever, because when it sits on here, it's gonna be all kicked up in the rivets or whatever, however I attach it. So what I think I'm gonna try to do is just rely on whatever support braces I put across to help 
stouting all that up, which I don't think is going to go anywhere. I mean, I'm using 3 16 rivets on it. I'm probably going to go in and put a couple more on each one just to have it a little bit more secure. And I got that piece in. So what I can go ahead and do is, I guess, what can I do? All right, so what I can go ahead and do is run some pieces in here to help, like, stouten this thing. The only bad thing about it is I really want to use countersunk rivets while I, when attaching this stuff because it needs to lay flush. So I'm going to be kind of stuck until those rivets come in. I ordered them. I think they said it was going to show up, like, Tuesday or something. So that kind of sucks. It's going to screw me for a little bit. But we're gonna see what we can do until then. All right, so what I think I'm going to do here is put a dog leg like that and then come across right here with a piece tied into that brace with like another little dog leg piece. And then probably put a piece of scrap right here somewhere. That way this lid will have something to close on to. I might put it to just for a little added support. And that should uh, work, I hope. And we can cut out the, the actual metal for the deck itself. went in with some little filler strips that's just to shim it up where it needs to be level i put this little piece in for the lid to rest on right here in case somebody stands hopefully it won't buckle in and i went ahead and put a little dog leg piece right here which i don't think was very necessary because this is going to be trolling motor i don't think too many people are going to be standing in this area won't be a whole lot of weight but that's what i did still up in the air i might run me some pieces right in here somewhere like one little brace really wish i could run something up towards the front but i might have to wait until after i get this lid on to make sure you know geometry of everything isn't going to mess up i don't want to put something there drill holes and then have to take it right back out because it's hitting that lid so uh, put that on the back burner for now and say we're done as of right now with this front deck framing that way we can go ahead and put the metal on top i think we want to cut this one first just measure it cut it out and then get it in here and then do this other side and we'll try to do it without doing a template these aren't huge pieces of metal so hopefully it'll work out
All right, so I just got these to hold them in place to make sure the mechanics is working on this. But I'm gonna go back and countersink these holes and get me some kind of countersink bolts and nuts. I don't, I thought I had some in here, but everything's domed head. So make a trip to Lowe's and get 12 little bitty, like number 10 stainless steel countersunk head screws and or bolts and uh, some some nuts and we can complete this part of the project. It's coming along pretty good. Uh, the sign's got a bow to it. I should have filmed me trying to whoop on it with a hammer, try to straighten it out right here. And it's still got a curve to it. Hopefully when this is cinched down to this hinge, it'll help straighten it up some. But uh, that's the thing to keep in mind is uh, try to use your flat signs. Because <laughs> most signs you get for free is gonna be jacked up. All right, let's go to the stove. All right, I got these little 1032 stainless steel screws. I wanted them shorter than that, but this is the shortest I had. And I got some little lock nuts and some washers too. It should do us up good. Alright, that's gonna be it for this video. I was gonna include the hydro turf, and actually, right now, when I'm feeling this outro, I'm like 95% done with the hydro turf. But going in and editing the videos, it was gonna be like a 25 to 30 minute video, and I just didn't really wanna do that. So I'm gonna break it up into two different videos. And in this one right here, you know, it's pretty cut and dry. You know, using the sign saved us a lot of money, but. I kind of messed myself up by going to Home Depot and getting that angle iron and the flat bar to use for the framing. Uh, like I said, if you want to try and save some money, just try to find some scrap aluminum. Um, I've heard of people using aluminum ladders. I really wanted to try that, but I was just running out of time. You know, that's, that's the hard thing about trying to build a budget boat and, and record everything because I'm on a time frame and i'm also trying to pinch pennies too and a lot of times those two don't really coincide very well with each other so uh, that's why i went and bought that i want to say that that aluminum was it was like 60 bucks and i used all of it i didn't really have anything left uh, you know a couple little pieces of scrap like this you know keep that in mind you know, aluminum's expensive everything's expensive right now but uh, you can save some money by trying to find something else the piano hinges were another expense. I've already had those. So, I don't really know right now. I have it all written down in my phone and my notes. Uh, but our grand total so far is going to be right here. Uh, I've got a lot of that money. This time was uh, that aluminum I bought. So, you can definitely save some money by cutting that corner and trying to find some scrap. Uh, we actually have a local scrap yard. you think I'd have enough sense by now to go and uh, check out what they got? I haven't done it yet but I really need to do that. Like I said, these, uh, these boats are costing more and more to build. And so I, I, need to, <laughs> I need to hunker down and try to figure out some ways to cut corners myself. I'm gonna continue doing this and be profitable at it. All right, guys, uh, so next up is going to be the hydro turf. And really, after that, we're gonna be wrapping this thing up. I gotta get, a, I still haven't got a trolling motor and I still haven't got a motor for the back yet. So uh, really, we got the hydro turf and you know the the motors and that's about it on this boat obviously i could add a lot more to the boat but you know being a budget build uh, we're going to try to keep that down to a minimum all right guys really appreciate you watching see you on the next one